Hey Legionnaires and welcome back, we're here with part 2 of our Holy Roman Empire campaign for 1212 AD. And in the last part, if you haven't checked that one out, which I fully recommend you go and do so, we did defeat a huge Danish army uh, in battle just outside of Breunschwig here. And uh, yeah, as someone told me in the comments, which I did realise after like post, uh, like, uh, post video, I realised that this army actually didn't take part in... Um, in battle, like Wilhelm here was uh, pretty damn safe. He did not have to worry about. It, it was actually the garrison uh, below that was uh, in battle and got uh, had fighting like taking place. So that was fine. I should have actually uh, like thrown this Imperial Ritter in a bit more aggressively because I knew it just wasn't going to die. Like it would just respawn eventually once the uh, garrison like replenished. So this army now, along with this army, which in two turns time I'm going to push forward with these uh, sergeants. I'm going to push forward. I'm going to go for Hamburg. And we're going to try and uh, take that. Winter should hopefully have subsided by then. And we should be into uh, like into summer. So we should be okay to go f uh, to war with. And uh, obviously we're trying to like also deal with our pretender issue. So if any pretenders do appear. I don't think they will. Um, by the looks of it. I can't see anyone appearing anytime soon. I will uh, obviously go and well uh, put them down. But also we are at war with Poland. They declared war on me. So I, I need to kind of deal with that. Our economy is kind of sorted. I'm going to just kind of let it. Rebuild a little bit more, but we'll end the turn, and uh, we'll see what we can do. So, if you guys are enjoying seeing this campaign, then do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and a comment to show your support. As always, is always appreciated, and uh, yeah, just keep it up, guys. The support is amazing currently for these uh, first few like episodes. Done really, really well, and just keep it up, and uh, you'll keep seeing more episodes uh, for these two campaigns that I'm currently doing. This one and Navarre currently being done at the moment um, and if, obviously if you want to see more episodes like I said just keep up the support fifth crusade has been done I won't be taking part because well uh, so bad omen well that's a big shame uh, I'm not going to take part because I'm busy doing other stuff king's uh, justice yeah trespassing into my land this is this guy kind of okay with that because the Norwegians have just dealt a nice Ready blow to the um, Danish for me I'm going to send this chap up here he's going to kind of sit here and they're actually besieging it, I think, are the Danish. Oh, the Norwegians, sorry. The Norwegians are actually besieging it. I might push on and take Stralsund instead, then. Might be the better choice. Um, I don't know if I want this. Well, there's one more turn. Commanders can get to about here. I'm going to push them up to here. Defenders of the Faith. It's a risky play, I know. But we could get him all the way to Stralsund next turn. This guy could probably move all the way to Stralsund as well next turn. Um, yeah, I'm going to leave. I'll do that. And then we can take Stralsund. And then we've got a border with Poznan. We can kind of deal with that after if we need to. But also Hamburg's being besieged. I don't know whether Norway will take it. Uh, I'm not really sure. Let's just have you inspire populace here. Just for now. Keep this uh, population happy when this uh, army leaves. And uh, diplomacy. I should really look at diplomacy. I thought that... Where are they? Where are the... Can I not see them anymore? Like, Norway? Are they nowhere on here? Am I just being blind? Oh, Norway's all the way over here. Is that, that's, that's where their faction leader is. Yeah, I'm I'm sure they are not going to declare war. Or, like, take that region. They're just going to do their bit. You are welcome. But that I am welcome. That is it, though. Um, they actually do not like me. and it, But it is improving. I think it's because... I think I'm improving with everyone. It's just because, like, start game, they, everyone the hates me. State. Welcome. Arrange a marriage. Speak Demand a, a wife for Heinrich. Do so. Don't know if I could really afford... I might just get Heinrich married off. This one, though, this younger Heinrich, we will uh, keep for... Well, he can he can actually get married off. To, we'll try and get some sort of marriages going on. Let's see if we can find someone. But Bannon is the most likely, but Welcome. they... And let us be honoured by your attendance. I don't know. Let's see if I offer some money, a dowry... A dowry for your daughter. No, it would not happen. I don't think anyone likes me well enough. Uh, you can see here, not enough people like me at all. Pomerania actually after as well. Uh, um, in this war. I wonder if I can make peace with Pomerania. You are welcome, but that no, Denmark, I bet, would love a bit of peace after Speak beating them. Actually, they wouldn't. Wow. Uh, we will carry on fighting you then. Um, I just end the turn. Uh, next turn, we'll obviously have our sergeants. Our army should be fairly well re replenished. We should be able to go and besiege Strals and uh, military access has been ended with Trier. Wow. Uh, I can probably remake most of these um, like military axes. I shouldn't have to go t through their lands anyway. I'm fine not helping them if they get declared war on. Um, 
Also, someone was mentioning that I should recruit, uh, like, units from, yeah, again. I swear they've done that several arms. times already, though. They, like, keep breaking uh, military access. I swear they've done that already in a uh, past one. Take a hand, yet. Yeah. Oh, we've already got... Wow, we already have... Winter's come through. Wow, that was quick. Um, siege down here. And we'll have you move up to Stralsund this turn. We may take, obviously, the attrition, but that is fine. I'll take the attrition. Happiness is not great here yet, but that's fine. Again, we can deal with it. We are taking some attrition, yes, but actually, we should be at... Could we take it this turn? No, we're going to need some stuff. But we should be able to take Stralsund next turn. That'll be great, and then we can move on Hamburg. They are still sieging down Hamburg. That is fine. Um, obviously, yeah, yeah. Someone was saying that I can recruit, like, from uh, my allies, like, provinces, which I will try to do. Norway are actually raiding, um, like, well, not my allies, but my vassals. I don't know. Should they should be my vassals. But they are not. They are not. I don't have any vassals. These are actually all independent states, technically. They actually run as be independent states a bit more. Your work. Um, so... Yeah, I'm not so sure about that one. Like, I can't. I don't think I can take anything from their lands because I don't actually have them as vassals. They are sort of vassals, but they kind of treat differently. Um, like in this um, Holy Roman Empire system, they are sort of vassals. Like you can see under this, they are all like, but they're all also got a lot of autonomy. So they actually kind of rules their own states. So there is there is a lot of different. Um, yeah, they're not actually a direct vassal. They're more like a loose vassal, which so loose that it's not even mentioned on the screen. Oh, Hamburg's been liberated. Okay, that's definitely for the taking. We will be taking that out. I actually, well, I say that it may now be under the empire. Um, so I may not be able to do that. But I kind of would like Stralsen for myself. Our yeah, Hanseatic League. I wonder if they're now part of the. Empire. I'll have to see. If not, then I may take them for myself. Hamburg Imperial. Yes, reconquered. Imperial territory reconquered. It's now uh, part of the Empire. So that's great to see. So I believe they actually are unfriendly with me. I believe that. Yeah, look at that. They're discontent. These are loyal. Uh, ambitious. Discontent. 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 Wow, a lot of these regions are discontent. <laughs> but that's apparently okay. It's only ambitious over here. Neutral, 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 neutral. Discontent. It's not part of the Holy Roman Empire. It's about to be part of the Holy Roman Empire once I take this land. Well, I might. I might liberate it myself make or make them a vassal. Um, I don't know. I'll have to see. There might be some negatives for me taking it. We'll see. Occupy... No, I can't actually vassalize it. There you go. I'll have to occupy it. So, Stralsund's mine. Let's see what that does to loyal, ambitious, discontent. Yeah, I don't think that's really hurt any way, hurt my opinion of anyone. Uh, I currently have a lot of the votes. Obviously, uh, like, this is who's voting. I think that's currently who's voting for who. Yeah, we're looking good on Imperial Authority. We can then get, like, confirmed permanent Prince Electors. Then we can do, like, move all the way down. I don't know if we have to do this all at once. If we can just start straight here and, like, just reform the Roman Empire, uh, like, the Holy Roman Empire, unite all of it together, sorry. Not reform the Roman Empire. Unite all of the, uh, the Empire together. That would be great. Don't think we can, though. So we'll go down this uh, route, zeal and stuff like that. Otto. Go there. Go zeal and integrity. Um, we can move you back to Braunschweig, I think, in one turn. No, we can't. But we can get you back into the friendly territory, which is the main thing. And then we can actually sort out food, which is still low. Food is still not looking great in this part of the world. So we have this one that's going to give us plus 40 and another 18 additional. Gives us a lot of money as well, about 260. That gives us about 80. And this one gives us a lot and money. I'm going to go with a pigsty. Good old pigsty, I think. Yeah, the best one's actually already gone down with the cattle herd, which gives us 70 food plus 250 from animal husbandry. So yeah, I'm going to go with the, like, the next best one, which looks like a pigsty at the moment. That should sort out food problems for a little bit, allow us to do some stuff. My uh, bishop or my priest is doing some stuff. He's inspiring the population. Plus three. And then you can have elder as well. Plus, so that should... Yeah, look at that. It's already gone like down to minus one. That should be fine. 
Uh, I may send an army back to Frankfurt as well at some point. Like, Braunschweig's kind of content. I might send the other army to uh, to uh, Frankfurt, maybe. Um, though a, a Catholic Basilica would sort out any issues, or a papermaker eventually. But what we're building currently, we are building uh, Prince Bishop Frick Market Square in Metropolis. Have we got an inn currently on the go? No, we don't. An inn is there, tavern. Helps with assassins and spies and... Yeah, maybe, maybe uh, useful to have. Stralsund, let's actually, yeah, we should actually have a look at what Stralsund's got. It's got a lot of stuff that I could do with repairing, actually. I don't know if I should really be building this pigsty, but food over here. Yeah, actually, I'll just save my money because I should have enough to then repair stuff next turn. Oh, we need a governor? Okay. Also, you're a statesman. You go in as Mecklenburg. There you go. Uh, provincial uh, stuff. You can just have growth and wealth and stuff. I, that's just, just a standard one I always go with. Maybe if like, the province was really happy, I'd put tax rate up, but none of my provinces are massively happy at the moment. So I can't afford to do that. I now have a border with um, Poland, actually, so I can't really afford to send uh, my uh, my armies back too far away from Strelzons. I may just keep them uh, kind of around just to keep an eye on them. Poland may come in for the uh, come in for the kill. Yes, they are. Here you go. Coming in for the kill. I'm going to send my uh, army in Breunschwig to straight back up. <laughs> I did think I might have had to do that. Um, there you go. Can good send it straight back up. I may just put it into garrison. I could put this one there. I know that doesn't obviously keep it, like... Doesn't get it resupplying, but then I can just send this army straight up to Strauss and put it straight into garrison. And just repair everything here as well. Oh, and that just repaired itself on its own. Nice. Walled City battle. repaired already. Garrison has already got a uh, general's bodyguard as well sorted. That's good. Denmark is now at war with the uh, Un Upstal Boon League. And Trier is at war with Burgundy. So I should be on good terms now with that this league here. Like, these guys would be starting to love me because Your people's reputation goes before you. we are attacking each other. I can offer a daughter. Low. They would actually not want my daughter. Rude! My daughter's lovely. You will find me a willing and attentive audience. Still beautiful. one also want my daughter. No one wants Hail. daughters. As daughters are easy way to get marriages. Pal. Let us talk and then enjoy good uh, who likes me? Brabant like me. Be most welcome. I'm just not liked. I Your demand a beautiful bride. An attentive audience. Offer money. Not much. I can offer you a mere six hundred and seventy five. Yeah, I didn't think that'll be enough. Uh, who else likes me? Saw Switzerland, but not welcome, a lot. Welcome, my friend. Let's see if we can offer them a daughter. No. Again, I could do with getting rid of Otto. I am, but not until after this pretended like thing's over. I'm pretty sure it should be over pretty soon. Objectives, yeah. Two more turns, and then this pretender thing's over. And then we get loyalty plus two, and then true emperor. Um... And I can't see any armies appearing. I don't know if there is supposed to be any armies appearing. Um, I'm really not sure. But, I've taken the chance and the opportunity just to uh, take out a bit of Denmark. Do some free real estate. Yeah, it's a shame that I couldn't uh, liberate the Hanseatic League. I love that Norway's just killing these uh, Danish armies for me, keeping them away. Even if it means they're trespassing through my lands. They're killing them, ar those armies for me. I can't complain. Yeah, there goes the no uh, the Polish. They're going to go all the way down to my other city. I may just follow them with my uh, big army. Oh, there you go. Crusade. But when it is Christendom itself that is threatened. I'm loving that they got the music Christian's for uh, Medieval 12, to, uh, Medieval 2. His Holiness the Pope has called a crusade to reclaim the Holy Lands from the infidel, who would deny Christian pilgrims their right to visit the holy places. It is time for the armies of Christendom to put aside their differences and unite under one banner, the sign of the cross, and give back God's children what is rightfully theirs, or die trying. <laughs> Glorious, glorious. There we go. Mission succeeded. Um, clearly, like, every, it's, uh, turns happening every two turns sort of thing, I just realized. Because I think I had two turns left on that. And so, yeah, every turn is, like, two turns almost. Oh, well, I say that. Mission succeeded. It says I still have one turn remaining. 
but this is a completed it. So I'm not quite sure exactly. If, I might need to put on um, four year turns for uh, like the next couple of campaigns that I'm going to do for this. The Danish Pretenders, yeah. Uh, War declared, excellent. King's just, just, yeah, it's doing its thing. City Charter's done. Okay. Um, I could go with Catholic Basilica, Catholic Basilica. I don't really want to go down military just yet. Don't really have any need to. Um, I kind of want to keep going down, sorting out my economy and stuff like that. Go with a large bakery. Um, could go with grain resource from farms, sort out, and then get a wheat farm. Catholic monastery. State religion plus one. I'm going to go with a windmill. Sort out that food even more. Not that it really needs sorting out. Um, you can just go down to Brunswick then. And just stand there. Just annoy this uh, Polish army into, I don't know, some sort of frustration. Um, what have we got here? Public order. Religious spread influence. And then there you go. There you go. Yeah, look at that. This guy's just now got all the way over here and he's now duking out. Just looking at him, just like, I dare you, come in and attack me. Strausen's now secure. We could put in some crossbows. I don't really want these just terrible units. Quite happy with Strausen how it is. I'll build like better armies for in like Brunschweig or something like that. I haven't really decided. I could maybe, maybe be able to move without even uh, like fast, uh, like force marching. I don't know. Saxony. Please, a willing and just take. Audience for your... Please take this ch this woman. Welcome. Oh. Let us be honored by your attendance. What did you just want? Break military words. alliance with? They would not break military alliance with them. I'm sure of it. Um, could I offer that and give a dowry? I don't know. They would still say no. Wow. I just <laughs> marriages are very hard to do in this. Clearly. Um. <laughs> Can't get used to go and do anything. Uh, you can become Castellan. Wilhelm also become a Castellan. Uh, you can become Marshal for me, Heinrich. We've got more children here that are get to be married off. No one likes me, but no one likes me enough. Um, Saxony. I mean, Saxony is going through the roof now. I mean, so is Kingdom of Bohemia. The Bohemia have no one to offer me. Trier also again really sounded like me. I don't think I'm actually at like Burgundy. Wow, Burgundy are at war with a lot of people. Um, yeah, I think Burgundy welcome, were welcome, on not friend. in the same like sort of influence. I just Bavaria are the other one possibly. I mean Brandenburg are over here. You will find me a They're at war with Denmark as well. They're allied with the Give Saxons. Give to your words and I will answer. Let's see if we can get a better alliance or something Be with the Saxons welcome. first. Your words will find hmm. an attentive audience. Maybe. Offer a payment. I want... Ah, you... It's deployment is so much harder now than it used to be. I complained it was too easy before. Now it's possibly too hard. Um, it may just be the, uh, this... The start you have as HRE. It's pre you're pretty much hated by everyone. Um, my papal standing is also just terrible. Zero. Um, but I have True Emperor, which only lasts for ten turns, to be fair. It's not an... It's, yeah, he sends some neutral, loyal uh, discontent. Yeah. It's not the be-all and end-all, uh, but I can... Shouldn't I be able to do... Yeah, they support... Not everyone would support it. I need ten votes. I have my uh, authority. I need ten votes. So I need to get more people on side. So I think at the moment I need to get the people in the uh, west on side. People like uh, Trier and Lorraine and stuff like that. I need to get them on side to try and get forward some votes. But I would have thought like the uh, electors would want to have permanency. Um, and I think I'm just going to end the turn. Uh, unsigned skill. Okay. You can have personal influence plus two. Can then have zeal and you can have public order up too. So Braunschweig is going to be looking brilliant. Though we could do with some sanitize, uh, sanitation, I just realized. It's got a very bad uh, like squalor level by the looks of it. No surprising, it's like You've one of my... This on yourselves. Wow, Austria is going to declare war on me. Red with their blood. Okay. Austria has declared war on me. An elector has declared war. 
for a... Uh, well, I presume the Imperial Throne, I guess. They're going to try and take out something like that. Well, that just gives me more free real estate, I guess, to take on. I can just take on Bavaria. can take on um, Austria. Yeah, Poland are going to fall back. I really need to just deal with this army. I'm quite happy to leave them around Stralsund. I might move the other army to south to... Uh, they just meant birth. Wow. Rude. Uh, stop having births. Uh, trade agreement broken with... Yeah, my um, economy is actually still okay, even though... Norway's been declared war on by uh, um, the Swiss. Incensed. Alright. And the hate. Yeah. Non aggression. Bavaria broke. So we are at war with Bavaria as well, then, I presume. We are at war with Bavaria as well. I'm going to be sending my army down to Frankfurt straight away. Ah, oh, do. Damn it. Shouldn't have force marched. But uh, I'll force march anyway. Means I can go either way. Uh, I could leave a tiny little army in Breuschwig. I can't actually have more armies. So I take that back. I won't be building any uh, stuff like that. I can't build any fleets here. This army is just getting itself more and more like worn down. Though I don't think I'm in any sort of state really to take it on. And I'm quite happy with it just running across the uh, the north like this. Just getting itself beaten up. Could I now, I wonder, could I now push through that decree? I have 9 out of 19. People starting to like me, I think, because I declared war, uh, like, I've been declared war on by the Austrians and the Bavarians. I have a feeling that's the reason. I'm going to take them out. I'm either going to take them out or vassalize them. My vassalize the Bavarians. Definitely going to be taking out the Austrians. I want Vienna. I may even let, let them survive in Graz. But they will not hold on to Vienna. They're not staying as a two-county province. Not because of this. They've wronged me. Uh, people, uh, they are starting to hate me because I'm at war with... Yeah, it's not my choice welcome, I'm at war with... Welcome, my friend. Not my choice I'm at war with Austria. God damn it, I need to finish this war quickly then. Because they do not like that I'm at war with Austria. How much... They would actually take that. Wow, I'm not wanting to spend that much. I'd rather get a... Defensive alliance. Yeah, I don't think you'd say yes to that. What about the marriage? No, they'd still say no to that. They'd rather just take a non-aggression. I don't really want to spend all my money on uh, trying to bribe them to stay loyal. But I actually don't think I have anything to spend my money on. So it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. So I'm going to get Saxony on side again. And let us be by your so, yeah, I will offer my money. Yes, this is not possibly the greatest thing in the world. But I actually say no anyway, so it doesn't really matter. In our good name, be welcome Hello. Let's see if I can friendship. offer Bohemia. Because they were the ambitious ones. They were the ones that were like, hmm, possible. Or maybe Trier. Welcome, worthy friend. If I could I bribe them, then they may vote ours. for me. Okay, they actually took that. Yes, yeah, so I don't know if they were actually the ones that needed to vote to get it across, but possibly not. Votes, yeah, I've still got a lot of people still voting for me. Pisa is still involved in this. Didn't realize Pisa were even in this. There you go, we've got Trier, which is to my west, now secure. Um, they now like me. I don't have any money, no, but I should get money next turn. I can build stuff if I need to. Um, which I may have to. I certainly need uh, the army in Stralsund to just eventually kill the Poles. So I can uh, then go back to Breunschwig, build a new army. I mean, if I can get the garrison of Stralsund to a decent... Like oh my gosh, look at this. I'm just being declared war on by all of my so-called allies. And they're actually going to siege me. Okay. Siege has begun. I'm in a bit of a sticky position here. Okay, yeah, this happens, I guess, when you just get, like, declared a war by one nation, they all declare war on you. Brilliant. Um, I'm going to just move down to here. Let's see what we can do. I kind of want... Yeah, I don't need this guy here in Hamburg. I can see what that army is. That's fine. I kind of need to bring you south. Uh, let's bring you... Can I bring you around here? I can't just bring you to attack around that side. Uh, so yeah, there we go. I don't know what the garrison's like here. It's pretty good. They haven't got much cavalry, though. And I have cavalry. Oh, they have uh, actually quite a bit in this army, but it's mounted crossbows. So I'm going to see if I can hold that. Uh, take it, in fact, sorry. 
Uh, let's see. Ten turns. I don't think I'll be taking it in ten turns time. I think I'll be trying to take it before then. This one? Can I... What's the stakes looking like? Not great. Not great. Maybe I should have replenished this army up here. Let's just decline attack for now, possibly. They may siege me, take me out. How many turns till uh, they die? Eleven. And five turns till I start running out of replies, uh, supplies. So, I have a five turns or less than that to take Munich. And some sort of establish some sort of a front of here. I think the best way to take deal with these guys is to take the offensive. I'm in a rough time, though. Let's put it like that. I may actually die. I don't know if I'm going to survive this. I'm being attacked. If I get declared war on by another elector, I may not survive this. They have 10. Breunschweig has a decent garrison and can defend itself. I think as does Frankfurt. Eh, Frankfurt is probably worse than the other one. I don't know what the armies are like in uh, Vienna and stuff like that. I'm going to say not massive. But then this is the AI. It probably cheats. How would you like your so, yeah, they just oh, make a non-aggression with them. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I'm being declared war on every second by some sort of army. Okay. Their armies are in no good shape here. Bounce Power says I should win this. Well, actually, no, I shouldn't win this. Um... I'm going to fall back, and fall see back. whether I'll get a chase down. This is getting very annoying now. I need to deal with some of these. I just made a piece as well with Trier, or I thought I had. Let's see if I can do any votes. I should have actually checked last turn whether I could do any votes. I should have checked. That's frustrating because Trier may have been on side. Yeah, loads of these nations are now at war with me. I wonder... wonder if I need to get Otto to die. <laughs> Otto needs to die, I think. Get rid of this man. Decree. Eight, yeah, eight out of 19 now. I think Trier was one of those loyalists. Population. Yeah, they're all malcontent or discontent. Why are you discontent? Uh, I guess, but maybe because I took this region? Well, I couldn't have any other choice. I had to take this region. I should have possibly not attacked them. Who knows? Um, I am currently, I don't think, going to be voted for next emperor. I may be wrong. Looks like it's going to be the Swiss or Lombardy, possibly. Oh, no, they, they just got that many votes. I don't know. Hmm. Expansive bureaucracy is only on for two more turns. Okay. Hmm, hmm, hmm. And I'm at war with Lorraine as well, apparently. Okay, brilliant. Um, We are in a lot of trouble here. HRE needs to somehow break out of this spot. We could force our march that way. I can force march up here. I can go that way. I'm more happy to go that way, see if I can tease, tease the Austrians into a fight. I may have to go north and save Stralsund as well. Polish aren't certainly helping. I could do with both my armies in the west. Right now. <laughs> um, let's see. I might be able to win this. I'm going to fight this because I have to. I have to get this army out of here. I don't really want to fight like I do have the numbers. Mainly because they have so much cavalry. I could try and be defensive with mine. I don't have... like This, ar this army's not going to get any stronger. Okay, I'm going to fight this and I'm going to see if I can win this. Um, and then probably after this, this is probably where we're going to wrap up the episode. Because I need to see whether... Um, I just I can't finish without knowing if we're going to beat this uh, goddamn Polish army. But luckily it's pretty open field. So I'm going to try and use my uh, missile advantage. I have a lot of missiles, a lot of crossbows. I'm going to try and use them, harass the cavalry into coming towards me. They do have missile cavalry themselves. I should be able to kill that off pretty easy with crossbows. Crossbows... I think, destroy Missile Cavalry. So, we should be okay to deal with them that way. But uh, we will see. Battle of Stralsund, 1218. It's going to be the make or break of the Holy Roman Empire, but like that, because this army needs to get back now, after this, get to Breunschwig, defend it. I may have to defend Frankfurt and just play defensive in those couple of territories. Maybe just hold them to Stralsund, uh, and if they try and siege it, 
maybe uh, just try and relieve it through uh, like a, a fight or something like that. Like sending an army north. Fog dry. There we go. We're in the we're in the snow. Glorious. Um, I attack them, so they will probably play defensive. But we'll see. Apparently, these are spears. I cannot be defensive with my general here, though. That's the thing. I cannot be defensive. My uh, they may come and attack me actually, since I have the larger uh, the smaller army. It looks like they're gonna archer sergeants. Uh, where's my allies? All the way back here. Look. Friendly banners. Should be okay here. Uh, I don't really want to move any further back. Right, get up here. Yeah, this is a pretty beat up army. Could do with a few more units. We will see. Cavalry, yeah, I don't know. I'm pretty sure on cavalry as well. I've got three units. I mean, these are General's Bodyguard, though, so they're good cavalry units. They may beat this. Oh, this is Mounted Sergeants. That's more reassuring. Mounted Sergeants. That's a bit more reassuring. Um, that it's not all, like, Polish Knights. I could try... I'm going to try and focus on their General as well, of course, the chain route. That's what I've got to do. That's what I've got to do in a lot of battles, I think, uh, this campaign. Just focus down Generals. Kill them with, uh, like, morale. I'm going to just fast forward because we are just waiting on the poles and my allies really uh, I'm gonna put my other general on this side actually I kind of want him on that side because then I'll put my uh, my actual general like with the other cavalry unit kind of support like I said I'm gonna play defensive if possible have my uh, archers and stuff right let's get all these archers let's actually just move them all like here quickly all get like out in front. Cavalry. Uh, let's just put this at normal speed now. It's getting a little out of hand. And then let's put the cavalry over there. Where's my other infantry? It's all here. You just kind of have to go through those units. And then you sort of go. I don't know. I'm going to put you out here. And then I'm going to put you to the right there. The center's going to be kind of get buckled. But I've got arches I can throw in if I need to. These peasant crossbows have got to do a lot of work. I don't know if they have better range, the arch sergeants. They have 150, I have 145. I'm going to have to get closer. Ever so slightly. Uh, crossbow cavalry. Need dealing with as well. How good's their range? Please tell me they're not as. Yeah, they're, they've actually got the same range as me. Okay. They may get to the same range as their crossbow cavalry before firing then. I can live with that. Carry just get in a little bit more. And they don't often support their... Uh, they don't have a massive amount of infantry themselves, I say this. Focus down their crossbow cap. They're going to charge it. They are, aren't they? God's sake. Yeah, no, maybe they're not. They're just going to get point-blank range. Uh, shoot them. General's being shot. Well, fall back, General. Oh, I should put my crossbows in loose formation and just realised. Uh, maybe we can't have this skirmish fight as long as I would like to have then. So I'm going to put my men in uh, loose formation. Though they're now putting all theirs into loose formation. Yeah, as soon as I put that cavalry forward, they're scared. As soon as the boot do that, they are scared as hell. Right, let's put all my crossbows into loose formation now while I have the chance. And now then, let's start to gun these guys down again. Shoot the crossbow cab. They can't go into loose formation. Get some easy wins. Get some cavalry off the battlefield. That's the main thing. Oh, these guys are getting wrecked. My uh, peasant crossbows, though, are not doing so well either. Yeah, broke that unit. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, I need to be aggressive somewhere with the cavalry. Might be the right that it's going to be done. Or I might be taking out general in a moment. 
We might be able to take out a general in a moment. Come on, break this unit. Folks, the other archers just need to hold on. And they're falling back. As soon as they get shot, they fall back. Uh, let's see if we can bait this cavalry around, see if we can pin the general. Same with the shock infantry. Good, good, good. Shoot them. Now shoot the general. Oh my gosh, stop rallying. This is just because your general's nearby. Yeah, you're popping rally all the time. You madman. Let's move my infantry up. I'm kind of getting sick and tired of waiting for them. They pulled their infantry back. Their fault. Pull my general and cavalry up. Nice. Shoot that. Shoot the gen. Get a charge. Get a charge. Get a charge on their gen. Nice charge. That's going to do a lot of damage. Send in the infantry. Send in the shock infantry. They don't know what to do. They don't know what they're doing. Nice, nice, nice. That's great. That's huge. Huge, huge, huge. Uh, actually, carry just hold here. You've got to fight these Polish knights. Fight the Polish knights. They're sending a uh, shock infantry. That's fine. I'll send in my shock infantry. Who wants to fight shock infantry versus shock infantry? Mountain sergeants. They can go there. Uh, actually, we'll go and actually pin my general. Like, use the general. You can pin them all down. And get the cavalry out. Oh, I didn't realize that there were other cavalry unit there. What's up, mountain sergeants? Yeah, I need to get my other. I need to get my cavalry unit out. Good thing I did. Go around and save these guys, please. Uh, shock and is coming this way. I cannot let it just charge wildly after stuff. Carry get over here. Oh, that's a huge, like, huge, huge look at that. Mountain Sergeant's breaking in, like, so low, like, high numbers. It's because they've got no general. And everything's just chain around for them. And I love to see this. You just love to see this. The Poles just don't want to fight. Defeating the Poles. It's looking glorious right now. Run these guys down. Don't let them get out of here alive. Uh, archers, you just... Uh, I'm giving you attack orders to shoot stuff. Uh, just to charge stuff now. I mean, these cavalry just returned. This Polish knight, that's actually kind of a concern. Um, you go onto that and just start shooting these guys. The crossbows are still alive. Actually, I should tell these crossbows to just shoot the mount of crossbows at the back of the map. Shoot them. There we go, get up there, and then he's shocking the tree. Ah, that shocking tree is not going to win that fight. Uh, cavalry here, pull out. Cavalry here, pull out. Our general died! No! How? He just pulled out. He's literally one of the... Or is it... Oh, it's this one. Okay, this is okay. This is also this is just a random statesman. I don't care. I thought it was this one. Wilhelm here. No, I don't really care about that general dying. Um, that's just the garrison commander. We can uh, live without the garrison commander. Just replace him. He wasn't even an experienced one. Uh, we'll just go and kill these guys. Uh, just pop a rally. Actually, no, pop fear. Break them. Didn't realize you had fear. That's even better. Even better ability you have. You just start shooting, come on. You, you've got to be in range at this point. You're definitely in range. Oh, you're on, you're on that. No, shoot them. Shoot them, you cowards. Uh, yeah, that's fine. And everything's breaking. I'm not going to catch those. And that's why I'm just going to end the battle. Decisive victory. Oh my gosh. That was scary. I only lost 187 men. That was pretty good. I did kill about 800 of theirs. They'll be running home now. That's their king dead, I believe. Um, or it's one of their generals, anyway. That's huge that we killed him. And now we can uh, just deal with uh, all our rebellious electors, which we're going to have to put in place. I may now be able to make them direct vassals and just subjugate them all in time. In time. There's a lot more to do. There's a lot. It's a long, a long road. Uh, it's a long road indeed. 
I have now just look at that. I can send an army on crusade. I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'm not doing that. Uh, morale and replenishment. They are big. Uh, then we got integrity there. What have you got? Construction? No, I'm not interested in that. And authority, which improves morale. Uh, and then I could bring you back. Your army's pretty beat. Uh, could replenish us. Fix all them. My army's back in Frankfurt, or it should be somewhere near Frankfurt. Oh no, it's getting close to Frankfurt. Okay. Yeah, if the Austrians attack, they've not got a really good army. I don't actually... I think they've been fighting someone else. Are the Austrians fighting someone else as well? No, they just don't have a general in the army. Okay. I'm at war with quite a few people. Not good. Yes. Um, I'm kind of surrounded by allies. I may just need to like focus my two armies around my two main cities. Stralsund may get abandoned at some point, which is sad. But we can try and focus around these two armies. We can then try and like go up. Maybe I think Groningen is probably the easiest one to go and take out. It's isolated. Um, Munich's obviously very, and they're the only ones like in their own alliance. They like their allies won't necessarily come to them at Trier and stuff. I can possibly hold Frankfurt with a pretty weak army, and then send the main army up to go and take Groningen, while trying to bait the army out of uh, out for battle. What's the garrison like at Stralsund now? It's improving, but it's not good enough to hold for this turn. I could go and kill this army. Let's see if we can do it. Yeah, right, let's do that. That's a very much easier way to just deal with this Polish in, uh, problem. Polish problem dealt with now. That army is like t so small, I just couldn't care about it. Then I can move you all the way down to here. Good, and then we're in, uh, like, Breunschwig here. And that is where we're going to wrap up today's episode. We are in a pretty risky position now. We are uh, at war with a lot of our own electors, but we are going to be able to put them down in time. I'm going to be uh, dealing with them piece by piece. Can I see the French yet? I cannot see the French yet. Can't see anyone. I need Otto to die because he's actually, like, causing a lot of issues. He's being excommunicated is not helping. Um, yeah, excommunicated, loyalty minus two, diplomatic relations with other Catholic factions minus 50. God, it's bad. Um, but anyway, that is where we're going to wrap up today's episode. If you enjoyed, do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and leave a comment to show your support. And until next time, Legionnaires, bye for now.